Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Across the state of Kentucky, county governments are having to devise new ways of operating jails that are increasingly overcrowded and costly. The same is true in Floyd County, where today a first reading was put forth for the 2017-18 jail budget. The jail budget is always going to be a little over two, some uh, two million bucks. There's, there's no way that we can really control that because of our uh, incarceration rate or our inmate population. So we've got those costs. It's always going to be there. The county has made strides in operating more efficiently, but often savings in one department are negated due to added expenses somewhere else. What we're doing, and, and Barrett's done an excellent job, he, uh, he helped cut that budget this year by $200,000, which we needed to do, and we're trying to figure out other ways. But it seems like there's always something with the jail because of the, uh, you just never know on the medical or, or uh, some of the things that might pop up. Judge Hale says that it would take legislative help to make significant changes to the way the jail operates, and in the current General Assembly, he is not seeing any such legislation. All I'm seeing right now is a lot of bills that probably is just going to help populate it more. It seemed like it's more on the criminalization, so I don't know exactly if there's anything right now that's going to help as far as the cost goes. It seems like it always comes back in, on the uh, uh, taxpayers of the local county. The hope, Judge Hale says, is that eventually the states will provide funding to help cover the costs of its jail mandates. Reporting from Prestonsburg for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.